A train 800 meters long is running at a speed of 78 kilometers per hour. If it crosses a tunnel in one minute, then the length of the tunnel, in meters, is. Answer is to find the length of the tunnel. We need to calculate the distance covered by the train during the time it takes to cross the tunnel. Given. Length of the train equals 800 meters. Speed of the train equals 78 kilometers per hour. Time taken to cross the tunnel equals 1 minute. First, let's convert the speed of the train from kilometer per hour to meter per second. Speed of the train equals 78 kilometers per hour equals 78 into 1000 m 3600 s equals 21.67 meters per second. We know that speed equals distance by time. Rearranging the formula, we have distance equals speed into time. The distance covered by the train during the time it takes to cross the tunnel is the sum of the length of the train and the length of the tunnel. Let's assume the length of the tunnel is x meters. Distance covered by the train equals length of the train plus length of the tunnel. Distance covered by the train equals 800 meters plus x meters. Since the time taken to cross the tunnel is 1 minute, which is equivalent to 60 seconds, we can set up the equation. 800 meters plus x meters equals 21.67 meters per second into 60 s. Simplifying the equation, 800 plus x equals 1300.2 x equals 1300.2 to 800 x equals 500.2 therefore. The length of the tunnel is approximately 500.2 meters. A train 110 meters long is running with a speed of 60 kmph. In what time will it pass a man who is running at 6 kmph in the direction opposite to that in which the train is going? Answer is. Given. Length of the train equals 110 meters. Speed of the train equals 60 kilometers per hour. Speed of the man equals 6 kilometers per hour. To find the relative speed between the train and the man. We need to add their speeds since they are moving in opposite directions. Relative speed equals speed of the train plus speed of the man. Relative speed equals 60 km per hour plus 6 km per hour. Relative speed equals 66 km per hour. Now, let's convert the relative speed from km per hour to meter per second. Relative speed equals 66 km per hour into 1000 meters 3600 s. Relative speed approximately equals 18.33 meters per second. To find the time it takes for the train to pass the man. We divide the length of the train by the relative speed. Time equals length of the train by relative speed. Time equals 110 meters by 18.33 meters per second. Time approximately equals 6 seconds. Therefore, it will take approximately 6 seconds for the train to pass the man who is running at 6 kilometers per hour in the opposite direction. Welcome back again two trains 140 meters and 160 meters long run at the speed of 60 km per hour and 40 km per hour respectively in opposite directions on parallel tracks. The time, in seconds, which they take to cross each other, is. Answer. To find the time it takes for the two trains to cross each other. We need to calculate the relative speed and then divide the total distance by the relative speed. Given. Length of the first train equals 140 meters. Length of the second train equals 160 meters. Speed of the first train equals 60 kilometers per hour. Speed of the second train equals 40 kilometers per hour. First, let's convert the speeds from kilometer per hour to meter per second. Speed of the first train equals 60 kilometers per hour equals 60 asterisk 1000 m 3600 s equals 16.67 meters per second. Speed of the second train equals 40 km per hour equals 40 asterisk 1000 m 3600 s equals 11.11 meters per second. Now, we can calculate the relative speed. Relative speed equals speed of the first train plus speed of the second train. Relative speed equals 16.67 meters per second plus 11.11 meters per second. Relative speed equals 27.78 meters per second. The total distance covered when the two trains cross each other is the sum of their lengths. Total distance equals length of the first train plus length of the second train. Total distance equals 140 meters plus 160 meters. Total distance equals 300 meters. We can now calculate the time taken to cross each other. Time equals total distance, relative speed. Time equals 300 meters, 27.78 meters per second. Time approximately equals 10.80 seconds. Therefore, the time it takes for the two trains to cross each other is approximately 10.80 seconds.
Two trains, each 100 meters long, moving in opposite directions, cross each other in 8 seconds. If one is moving twice as fast the other, then the speed of the faster train is given. Length of each train equals 100 meters. Time taken to cross each other equals 8 seconds. When two trains cross each other, the distance covered is equal to the sum of their lengths. So, the total distance covered is, distance equals length of the first train plus length of the second train. Distance equals 100 meters plus 100 meters distance equals 200 meters. The relative speed between the trains is the sum of their speeds because they are moving in opposite directions. Let's assume the speed of the slower train is by meter per second. Since the faster train is moving twice as fast, its speed would be 2x meter per second. Relative speed equals speed of the first train plus speed of the second train. Relative speed equals by meter per second plus 2x meter per second. Relative speed equals 3x meter per second. We know that speed equals distance by time. Relative speed equals distance by time. 3x meter per second equals 200 meters by 8s. X approximately equals 8.33 meters per second. The speed of the slower train is approximately 8.33 meters per second. To convert this speed to kilometer per hour, speed in kilometer per hour equals 8.33 meters per second into 3600s 1 hour into 1 kilometer 1000 meters. Speed in kilometer per hour approximately equals 29.99 kilometers per hour approximately equals 30 kilometers per hour. Therefore, the speed of the faster train, which is twice the speed of the slower train, is 2 into 30 km per hour equals 60 km per hour. Two trains, each 100 meters long, moving in opposite directions, cross each other in 8 seconds. If one is moving twice as fast the other, then the speed of the faster train is given. Length of each train equals 100 meters. Time taken to cross each other equals 8 seconds. When two trains cross each other, the distance covered is equal to the sum of their lengths. So, the total distance covered is, distance equals length of the first train plus length of the second train. Distance equals 100 meters plus 100 meters distance equals 200 meters. The relative speed between the trains is the sum of their speeds because they are moving in opposite directions. Let's assume the speed of the slower train is by meter per second. Since the faster train is moving twice as fast, its speed would be 2x meter per second. Relative speed equals speed of the first train plus speed of the second train. Relative speed equals by meter per second plus 2x meter per second. Relative speed equals 3x meter per second. We know that speed equals distance by time. Relative speed equals distance by time. 3x meter per second equals 200 meters by 8s. X approximately equals 8.33 meters per second. The speed of the slower train is approximately 8.33 meters per second. To convert this speed to kilometer per hour, speed in kilometer per hour equals 8.33 meters per second into 3600s 1 hour into 1 kilometer 1000 meters. Speed in kilometer per hour approximately equals 29.99 kilometers per hour approximately equals 30 kilometers per hour. Therefore, the speed of the faster train, which is twice the speed of the slower train, is 2 into 30 km per hour equals 60 km per hour. A goods train runs at the speed of 72 kmph and crosses a 250 meters long platform in 26 seconds. What is the length of the goods train? Answer is, to find the length of the goods train, we need to calculate the relative speed between the train and the platform. Given, speed of the train equals 72 kmph. Length of the platform equals 250 meters. Time taken to cross the platform equals 26 seconds. First, we need to convert the speed from kmph to meter per second. 1 kmph equals 5 by 18 meter per second. So, the speed of the train is 72 kmph equals 72 into 5 by 18 meter per second equals 20 meters per second. Let's assume the length of the goods train is x meters. When the train crosses the platform, it covers the length of the platform as well as its own length in 26 seconds. So, the total distance covered is the sum of the length of the platform and the length of the goods train. Distance equals length of the platform plus length of the goods train. Distance equals 250 meters plus x. Speed equals distance time. 
20 meters per second equals 250 plus x by 26. Now, we can solve this equation to find the length of the goods train, x, x equals 270. Therefore, the length of the goods train is 270 meters. Two trains are moving in opposite directions at 60 km per hour and 90 km per hour. Their lengths are 1.10 km and 0.9 km respectively. The time taken by the slower train to cross the faster train in seconds is. Answer is. To determine the time taken by the slower train to cross the faster train, we need to consider their relative speeds and the sum of their lengths. Given. Speed of the first train, faster train, equals 60 km per hour. Speed of the second train, slower train, equals 90 km per hour. Length of the first train equals 1.10 km. Length of the second train equals 0.9 km. First, let's convert the speeds of the trains from kilometers per hour to meters per second, as the lengths of the trains are given in meters. 1 km equals 1000 meters. 1 hour equals 3600 seconds. Converting the speeds, speed of the first train equals 60 km per hour equals, 60 times 1000, meters, 3600 seconds, equals 16.67 meters per second, approximately. Speed of the second train equals 90 km per hour equals, 90 times 1000, meters, 3600 seconds, equals 25 meters per second. Now, we need to determine the relative speed between the two trains which is the sum of their speeds since they are moving in opposite directions. Relative speed equals speed of the first train plus speed of the second train. Relative speed equals 16.67 meters per second plus 25 meters per second equals 41.67 meters per second, approximately. To calculate the time taken by the slower train to cross the faster train, we divide the sum of their lengths by the relative speed. Time equals length of the first train plus length of the second train, relative speed. Time equals, 1.10 km plus 0.9 km, 41.67 m per second. Time equals 2 km, 41.67 m per second. Converting the length of the trains to meters. Length of the first train equals 1.10 km equals 1.10 times 1000 m equals 1100 m. Length of the second train equals 0.9 km equals 0.9 times 1000 m equals 900 m. Time equals, 1100 meters plus 900 meters, 41.67 meters per second. Time equals 2000 meters, 41.67 meters per second. Time equals 48 seconds, approximately. Therefore, the time taken by the slower train to cross the faster train is approximately 48 seconds. A 270 meters long train running at the speed of 120 kmph crosses another train running in opposite direction at the speed of 80 kmph in 9 seconds. What is the length of the other train? Answer is to find the length of the other train. We need to consider the relative speed between the two trains and the time taken for the crossing. Given. Length of the first train equals 270 meters. Speed of the first train equals 120 kmph. Speed of the second train equals 80 kmph. Time taken for the crossing equals 9 seconds. First, let's convert the speeds of the trains from kilometers per hour to meters per second, as the length of the first train is given in meters and the time is given in seconds. 1 kilometer equals 1000 meters 1 hour equals 3600 seconds converting the speeds. Speed of the first train equals 120 kmph equals 120 times 1000 meters 3600 seconds equals 33.33 meters per second, approximately. Speed of the second train equals 80 kmph equals, 80 times 1000, meters, 3600 seconds, equals 22.22 meters per second, approximately. To calculate the relative speed between the two trains, we add their speeds since they are moving in opposite directions. Relative speed equals speed of the first train plus speed of the second train. Relative speed equals 33.33 meters per second plus 22.22 meters per second equals 55.55 meters per second, approximately. We are given that the time taken for the crossing is 9 seconds. Now, we can use the formula. Distance equals relative speed times time taken for the crossing. Distance equals 55.55 meters per second times 9 seconds equals 500 meters, approximately. 
The distance covered during the crossing is equal to the combined length of the two trains. Therefore, we can find the length of the other train by subtracting the length of the first train from the total distance. Length of the other train equals distance, length of the first train. Length of the other train equals 500 meters to 270 meters equals 230 meters. Therefore, the length of the other train is approximately 230 meters. A jogger running at 9 kmph alongside a railway track in 240 meters ahead of the engine of a 120 meters long train running at 45 kmph in the same direction. In how much time will the train pass the jogger? Answer is, to determine the time it takes for the train to pass the jogger. We need to consider their relative speed and the total distance between them. Given, speed of the jogger equals 9 km per hour. Speed of the train equals 45 km per hour. Distance between the jogger and the train equals 240 meters, ahead of the engine. Length of the train equals 120 meters. First, let's convert the speeds from kilometers per hour to meters per second. As the distance and length are given in meters, 1 kilometer equals 1000 meters. 1 hour equals 3600 seconds. Converting the speeds. Speed of the jogger equals 9 kilometers per hour equals 9 times 1000 meters 3600 seconds equals 2.5 meters per second. Speed of the train equals 45 kilometers per hour equals 45 times 1000 meters 3600 seconds equals 12.5 meters per second. To calculate the relative speed between the jogger and the train, we subtract the speed of the jogger from the speed of the train since they are moving in the same direction. Relative speed equals speed of the train, speed of the jogger. Relative speed equals 12.5 meters per second to 2.5 meters per second equals 10 meters per second. Now, we need to determine the total distance that the train needs to cover to pass the jogger, which is the sum of the distance between them and the length of the train. Total distance equals distance between the jogger and the train plus length of the train. Total distance equals 240 meters plus 120 meters equals 360 meters. Finally, we can use the formula. Time equals distance, relative speed. Time equals 360 meters, 10 meters per second equals 36 seconds. Therefore, it will take 36 seconds for the train to pass the jogger. A train 360 meters long is running at a speed of 45 kilometers per hour. In what time will it pass a bridge 140 meters long? To determine the time it takes for the train to completely pass the bridge, we need to consider the total distance that the train needs to cover. Given, length of the train equals 360 meters. Speed of the train equals 45 kilometers per hour. Length of the bridge equals 140 meters. First, let's convert the speed of the train from kilometers per hour to meters per second, as the length of the train and the bridge are both given in meters. 1 kilometer equals 1000 meters. 1 hour equals 3600 seconds. Converting the speed. Speed of the train equals 45 kilometers per hour equals 45 times 1000 meters 3600 seconds equals 12.5 meters per second. To calculate the time it takes for the train to pass the bridge. We need to consider the total distance covered by the train, which is the sum of the length of the train and the length of the bridge. Total distance equals length of the train plus length of the bridge. Total distance equals 360 meters plus 140 meters equals 500 meters. Now, we can use the formula. Time equals distance, speed. Time equals 500 meters, 12.5 meters per second equals 40 seconds. Therefore, it will take 40 seconds for the train to completely pass the bridge. Two trains of equal length are running on parallel lines in the same direction at 46 km per hour and 36 km per hour. The faster train passes the slower train in 36 seconds. The length of each train is, given. Speed of the faster train equals 46 km per hour. Speed of the slower train equals 36 km per hour. Time taken for the faster train to pass the slower train equals 36 seconds. First. We need to convert the speeds from kilometers per hour to meters per second, as the time is given in seconds. 
1 kilometer equals 1000 meters. 1 hour equals 3600 seconds. Converting the speeds. Speed of the faster train equals 46 kilometers per hour equals 46 times 1000 meters, 3600 seconds equals 12.78 meters per second, approximately. Speed of the slower train equals 36 kilometers per hour equals 36 times 1000 meters, 3600 seconds equals 10 meters per second. When the faster train overtakes the slower train, the relative speed between them is the difference in their speeds. Relative speed equals speed of the faster train, speed of the slower train. Relative speed equals 12.78 meters per second to 10 meters per second equals 2.78 meters per second, approximately. We are given that the time taken for the faster train to pass the slower train is 36 seconds. Now, we can use the formula, length of each train equals relative speed times time taken to pass. Length of each train equals 2.78 meters per second times 36 seconds equals 100.08 meters, approximately. Therefore, the length of each train is approximately 100 meters. A train 240 meters long passes a pole in 24 seconds. How long will it take to pass a platform 650 meters long? Answer is, to determine the time it takes for a train to pass a platform. We need to consider the additional distance covered when passing the platform compared to when passing a pole. Given information, length of the train, 240 meters. Time taken by the train to pass a pole, 24 seconds. Length of the platform, 650 meters. Let's denote the additional distance covered when passing the platform as d when the train passes the platform. It covers the distance equal to the sum of the lengths of the train and the platform. Distance equals length of train plus length of platform. Distance equals 240 meters plus 650 meters. Distance equals 890 meters. Now, let's calculate the time it takes for the train to cover this distance. We can use the formula, time equals distance, speed. To find the speed, we need to determine the speed of the train. Since we are not given the speed directly, we can use the information provided for the time taken to pass the pole. Speed equals distance, time. Speed equals 240 meters, 24 s. Speed equals 10 meters per second. Now, we can calculate the time it takes for the train to pass the platform. Time equals distance, speed. Time equals 890 meters, 10 meters per second. Time equals 89 seconds. Therefore, it will take 89 seconds for the train to pass a platform 650 meters long. Seven A train passes a station platform in 36 seconds and a man standing on the platform in 20 seconds. If the speed of the train is 54 kilometers per hour, what is the length of the platform? Answer is, to determine the length of the platform, we need to consider the additional distance the train covers when passing the platform compared to when passing a stationary object, the man. Given information, speed of the train, 54 kilometers per hour. Time taken by the train to pass the platform, 36 seconds. Time taken by the train to pass the man, 20 seconds. First. We need to convert the speed of the train from kilometers per hour, kilometer per hour, to meters per second, meter per second, since the time given is in seconds. To convert from kilometer per hour to meter per second, we use the conversion factor 1 kilometer per hour equals 0.27778 meters per second. Speed of the train equals 54 kilometers per hour into 0.27778 meters per second equals 15 meters per second. Next, we can use the formula. Distance equals speed ninto time. Let's denote the length of the platform as LL and the length of the train as TT. When the train passes the platform, it covers the distance equal to the sum of the lengths of the train and the platform. Distance equals length of train plus length of platform. Distance equals T plus L. We have two scenarios to consider. Passing the platform, the distance covered is equal to the length of the train plus the length of the platform. T plus L equals speed of the train into time taken to pass the platform. T plus L equals 15 meters per second into 36 seconds. T plus L equals 540 meters. Passing the man, the distance covered is equal to only the length of the train. T equals speed of the train into time taken to pass the man. T equals 15 meters per second into 20 seconds. T equals 300 meters. Now, we can subtract the length of the train from the total distance when passing the platform to find the length of the platform. 
L equals distance, length of train. L equals 540 meters to 300 meters. L equals 240 meters. Therefore, the length of the platform is 240 meters. The length of the bridge, which a train 130 meters long and traveling at 45 kilometers per hour can cross in 30 seconds, is. Answer is, to find the length of the bridge. We need to determine the distance covered by the train in 30 seconds and subtract the length of the train from it. Given, length of the train, 130 meters. Speed of the train, 45 kilometers per hour. Time taken to cross the bridge, 30 seconds. First, we need to convert the speed of the train from kilometers per hour, kilometer per hour, to meters per second, meter per second, since the time given is in seconds. To convert from kilometer per hour to meter per second, we use the conversion factor 1 kilometer per hour equals 0 0.27778 meters per second. Speed of the train equals 45 kilometers per hour asterisk 0 0.27778 meters per second equals 12.5 meters per second. Next. We know that the distance covered by the train in 30 seconds is equal to the sum of the length of the train and the length of the bridge. Distance equals length of the train plus length of the bridge. Distance equals 130 meters plus length of the bridge. We also know that distance equals speed asterisk time. Substituting the values we have, 130 meters plus length of the bridge equals 12.5 meters per second asterisk 30 seconds. 130 meters plus length of the bridge equals 375 meters. Now, we can solve for the length of the bridge. Length of the bridge equals 375 meters to 130 meters. Length of the bridge equals 245 meters. Therefore, the length of the bridge is 245 meters. Question. A train 125 meters long passes a man running at 5 km per hour in the same direction in which the train is going, in 10 seconds. The speed of the train is, answer. We are given the following information, length of the train, 125 meters. Speed of the man, 5 km per hour. Time taken to pass the man, 10 seconds. First, we need to convert the speed of the man from km per hour, km per hour, to meters per second, meter per second, since the time given is in seconds. To convert from kilometer per hour to meter per second, we use the conversion factor 1 kilometer per hour equals 0 0.27778 meters per second. Speed of the man equals 5 kilometers per hour asterisk 0 0.27778 meters per second equals 1.39 meters per second. Next, we know that when the train passes a man running in the same direction, the relative speed between them is the difference in their speeds. Relative speed equals speed of the train, speed of the man. We are given that the man is being overtaken by the train. So the train's speed relative to the man is. Relative speed equals 125 meters, 10 s equals 12.5 meters per second. Now, we can calculate the speed of the train by adding the relative speed to the speed of the man. Speed of the train equals relative speed plus speed of the man. Speed of the train equals 12.5 meters per second plus 1.39 meters per second. Calculating the above expression, we get. Speed of the train equals 13.89 meters per second. Finally, to convert the speed of the train from meters per second to kilometers per hour, we can use the conversion factor 1 meter per second equals 3.6 kilometers per hour. Speed of the train equals 13.89 meters per second asterisk 3.6 kilometers per hour. Calculating the above expression, we find, speed of the train equals 50 kilometers per hour. Therefore, the speed of the train is 50 kilometers per hour.